generic greetings and welcome to Moonbase, today's beverages. A very nice sparkling rose lemonade, very nice indeed, very refreshing. So welcome I guess back to Moonbase, if you're not aware this is essentially a survival game where you play as a cat end of sentence. Uh, <laughs> you land on, I guess, a moon and have to explore, gather resources, find artifacts, do research, build your base, and indeed fight enemies. For the longest of times, there was no hostiles in the game. However, they were added oh, quite a while ago now. I played over a year ago on uh, this game, and yeah, since then there's been new enemy types added. There's been rocketry, um, mines, and more intermediate crafting things, and just more game, I guess. It's not, I wouldn't say uh, updated very frequently. I think it's sort of a, a labour of love type thing, but it is a fairly light and chill survival game and people tend to enjoy it. So, well, yeah, let's just go in and we'll see what this is like. So over to a new game here and we're going to try and survive for X number of days and we'll also see some of the new stuff. Firstly, over to world settings and I'm going to go with G seed, just in case you want to follow along the terrain seed is G seed, all lowercase, no spaces. The day and night cycle is set to default, we'll keep it that way. The weather is also defaulted to normal, which is fine. We are not going to unlock all of the tech tree. I think we'll, if, if you um, keep that off, you have to look for artifacts, which is quite an interesting thing. You drive around in your vehicle and uh, hostile creatures is also on, so that is fine. We'll select that. We'll go to normal mission and we need to select the color of our sort of like space suit, which um, I think we're going to go with a nice sort of mint green there and then we just need to select our cat as well and uh, that'll do quite nicely and obviously we're going to go with Catherine because it's got cat in it and we will start this one so the mission is land on the planet tvp-224 and survive for at least 35 days so let's do just that we have our orbit and approach locked in and there we go we have now landed so first things first we need to have a quick look around and see where the crates are. So there's these crates here that have been dropped for us in order to help us out with our first stage. It's, as I said, a fairly light survival game. We do still have oxygen and food and health and stuff to worry about, but we uh, should be okay with all of this. What I'm going to do is put our main entrance way in and that should go there. Can I actually get around? Yes, I can. And then a crafting bench. So we have currently no oxygen um, generating. I'm just going to gather some of these resources here. The reason I need to um, gather those. Oh, what's that resin? I think that may be... I think that may be something new. Anyway, I've um, made also some food as well. We do need to chop down some of this, but I don't actually have any resources. So I'm going to look around for some sticks, which I am not finding. Oh, there we go. There's some on the right-hand side. The reason for that is I want to power this thing up, and then the oxygen generator will do just that. It will generate. So we're going to put some wood in there, and that's going to start generating oxygen, which is fine. There's some more sticks down the bottom here. And, well, we'll pick those up and... And also, well, we need to we need to find a way to um, actually recycle the airlock. Let's go in there, and yet yeah, we will get some more oxygen, which is fine. Maximum suit oxygen is two hundred. You can find more. Um, oh, so I can't go around that way now. I'm guessing I'm going to be stuck. Right, I have to work around here. I'm definitely going to remove a lot of these rocks. Uh, as fast as we can. We've got a torch for some lighting. I would like to get a shovel, a crude shovel, and also I see it has damage now. Interesting. Anyway, if we need a crude shovel, we need some scrap, and well, there's some scrap here, so we'll gather that, which is good, and pick up this. Yep, that's all right. And there's some ice there. There's also some glowing rocks, which I'm going to guess that is... Yeah, I need a different tool to pick it up, indeed. I'm guessing that is... Uh, uranium. We can build a RTG, but we we need like smelters and other things first. So over to a crude shovel. We'll get one of those. It's fine. Let's go ahead and select the shovel. And I'm guessing now, well, we can't pick up these. We can't bash those, but I'm guessing we can pick up these resources. What actually do we need first? We need a smelter, which requires rocks and scrap. I cannot make anything else, I don't think. So rocks and scrap. So... Well, we know where scrap is. We've seen scrap before. It's this stuff, and there's some rocks here as well. So just the basic stuff for the time being. We'll just grab that. There's one rock, and we have now uh, two scraps. So let's have a, another scout about. We're seeing... Oh, that's also, again, some new type of 
or I'm guessing, I'm not really too sure what that is, but it's going to be fun finding out. We've got some ice here as well, which we can create bottles of water. We can also use that water and um, dump it in. Ooh, an artifact. Oh, let me pick this up while we are here. There we go. Yeah, we can use that water to do some farming and such as well, so we'll have to... We'll have to have a look at that in the future. I'm not picking up this stuff, by the way, although maybe I should. This is some ore, and we need to smelt that, but we don't yet have the ability to smelt, hence why I was looking around for some rocks. So we've got that. We've got some of this. There's some more rocks. We need a total of, was it four rocks and four scraps? We've got half of the rocks, and we've got full scrap. Oxygen is getting low, so I'm just going to pick up this here, and then we'll head back to uh, fill our suit up. We've got an alert there, so it's on the top left. You can see that's flashing in red now. Day 1, 7.30 at night, and we're coming close to the end of the day, so it will get dark. And, oh, there's rocks here all this time. We've just been walking past them. Actually, I'm going to dump this thing as well. How can we dump that? Uh, I think we can dump it. Shoot this way. Yeah, you just press Q. So we'll cycle the airlock. We'll go inside there, and we were just about to take some damage. I think we did actually take a little, a uh, little bit of damage, but that's not too much of a problem. Um, let's go ahead and we will eat this food. So right click and then right click. There we go. We have now sorted that out, and I guess we'll sort of cycle the airlock and we'll go outside. So we can turn on our torch, but you can see even with this, it is still very, very dark indeed. And, um, oh, hang on. I think we now have enough for a smelter, which is good. I'm also going to make sure that, yes, we need some power in that, so I'll power that thing up. So over here, and we will create a smelter. Also, a research lab would be very nice. Um, don't know if we are going to do that one just yet. Also, gasket. Hopefully make some a good seal. I'm not really too sure what we're going to need a gasket for, but again, the fun will be in finding out. So the smelter will go on the side here. The problem with this is that everything is powered up when it's sort of next to one next to each other like that so this is going to power both things but at the moment isn't too much of a problem but we may end up having a problem later on um yeah we'll see how we get on so i probably want to go for a research lab um actually what i probably want to do is um yeah we've actually got is this a we've got a sandstorm we now have a sandstorm hmm let's go inside and we'll see if we can power things up so there we go our power was going low because of the um because of the the light that's on apparently we're not using led we're using carbon arcs or something that's really really power hungry um yeah let's just <laughs> head back outside there and well we might as well keep on digging here so we need to gather lots of resources in order to in order to survive and that sandstorm is a fairly fairly severe you can see it's a we're sort of shielding our face even though we know we have a, a dome there oh hang on uh, that's that's rocking back and forward. I think that things can... Uh, can they get damaged? I think they can get damaged. I think they also can disappear. So I want to, well, nail it down, essentially. Let's go inside here, and I'm going to cycle that again just to make ourselves... Oh, yeah, oxygen's going up. That's that's fine. And looks like the storm is sort of over. So we'll dump that there. Don't want to be carrying that around. And pick up some of this. We're going to go ahead and make some more water because we can. There's um, stone walls, which I don't know if we need anything like that at this stage. Um, a research lab is two electronics and two scrap and also five plates. We've got the plates for the electronics. We need some wire. So I'll make some wire and then I'll make some electronics. And, well, we just need more scrap. So let's go ahead and see if we can find said stuff. I'm also going to, as I'm running around pick up all of the do we need more food not really at this stage I'm gonna pick up all of this ore, which <laughs> there's quite a number of uh quite a number of the deposits around here so yeah let's see what we can do a couple of pieces of scrap on the left hand side which is fine we'll pick this up and there's another one so we got four units of scrap there's some more research artifacts um i was gonna say research material i guess that's technically correct although yeah we'll pick that up get some more scrap then we've got some more stuff here as well so all of this will come in handy although we do have a limited amount of space in our inventory so we don't want to be sort of maxing that out yet especially with stuff that we don't necessarily need 
<laughs> Speaking of need, there is again more oxygen need. Can we get rid of this, by the way? Um, mission is not finished yet. No, we, we cannot do that. Let me go ahead and dump in some more wood in there. Just so this has power. We'll put that on the ground. Cycle the airlock here because, again, we are needing to do that. And then we'll just go for lots of crafting there as well. The base shows on the left-hand side. It's got a comma ray. It's got uh, four parts, which is one, two, three, four. No oxygen and no stored energy, but we don't really need to do much of that. That's fine. And, yeah, let's pick this up. Go ahead, and we will create a research lab. So the research lab, again, will go adjacent somewhere, but I think we'll be probably running out of power at this stage, but... We'll see what we can do. I'm going to pick up both of these things here because I, I think you can only put one in, but we might as well at least have it near. So we're going to start researching that. It says no power. Ah, okay. So we are completely out of power there. What I'll do then is make... Do you want another generator? Is it possible to make another generator? Uh, yes, but we need some of these components. So we'll make that and then another generator. And then what I'm going to do um, is maybe rip that up, which will drop both of those things but the generator will go there followed by the research there and obviously we need to then make sure that generator's got power and then we'll start researching this thing so we're now researching some stuff there which is good we'll drop that artifact on the ground so we've got research going we've got the base okay up and running hmm what is the best course of action here? Well, I think the best course of action at this stage is to get some oxygen because it's um, it's sort of a bit of a detriment to life when you don't have any. And I would like to expand the base, but that may require some, well, require some more effort on our part as well as some, some research. We are also getting a little bit low on food, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up some water. That's <laughs> counterintuitive, I know, but we can turn that into bottled water and uh, go from there. Uh, research, by the way, we've got our tech upgrades. We've got no samples just yet, but there's... Oh, look at that. There's our Mark II suit. We've got rocketry, which is... That's new. Fuel storage, fuel refinery, launch pad. We've got crystal tech. Oh, wow, to make mining rigs and crystal lamps. Yeah, that's that's a lot of new stuff. Oh, there's our our RTG. And also you can get um, batteries as well, which is something I often go for. I'll go for RTGs and um, RTGs and just sort of solar panels and everything else. Just anything that's very free and renewable, basically, in the game. Let's head in here and cycle that airlock. Just get that there. And might as well go ahead and put those in the queue. Probably we'll need to make some metal beams. Oh, metal beams require metal plates anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Might as well just use them all. First thing we're going to get is probably a big mining um, hammer to remove some of these big rocks. So, yeah, we'll probably do that. I'm actually going to create a torch as well because, quite frankly, it is just really, really dark here. And is it going to take long? Ah, so, don't know if you saw what happened there. I did place a torch, but because we've now got... <laughs> we've now got a sandstorm, I, I, I can't see it. I can't see a thing. It, it made the torch go out. So, um, there you go. I'm trying to light it, but it's not working out. We'll just have to put um, put this one. And, oh, we've also ran out of power as well. So, let me just uh, cycle that through. What, what can actually go in this one? It is... Um, I think we can select that and say... Ah, there you go. So, it shows you what we need. So we need wood and plant fiber and things like that. Let's get inside here because that is quite a strong, quite a strong breeze, as it were. We've got construction, which is this fab here, which allows us to build indoor. Oh, indoor workbench is that new? Might be. I think, however, we are going to go for tools. Tools has now been researched, and ah, it is the day. Let's go ahead and run around, see what we can get. I think what we need to get is. Food, actually, or rather, I'm gonna get uh, some bottles of water. That's fine. Light the torch as well, and there's water. But really, it's a, it's not that efficient to to get that stuff. So it's probably best we maybe pick up some of this. Yeah, we'll go for this. So we'll grab these, and there's a seed as well, so we can use that for planting. I don't think I can chop that tree down yet because I don't have that. Yeah, I don't have the requisite tool there. And there's a lot of that. Let's have a look around up here. More of this ore. We're okay for ore so far. We've got five 
plus whatever that drops. Some more of this here as well. And obviously we have to log off for enemies as well. There are enemies and for whatever reason, they're very, very hostile. Let's pick up some wood anywhere and probably some scrap while we're here. But again, have to be very conscious of that oxygen meter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we'll just pick up these two bits of ice here and then we're done and we'll head back shovel is on about maybe a fifth maybe maybe less it's in the red anyway for its durability as a rule I don't like durability systems as a rule and it's the case here I'm just not a big fan of the mechanic it does work out for a lot of things Certainly survival games and post-apocalyptic stuff, but yeah. Make ones make right. <laughs> now, here's the problem. I can't figure out where I am. Oh, there we go. So, that's I think it's that new animation. You press M and you pull out like a, like a pad there. That's pretty good. Oh, we got a leak. That's not good. Uh, so, we've got a leak in the airlock. So, I can see that this is damaged. You just walk up to it and uh, do some repair like that. So, that's fine. We have wood, we have lots of resources here. We can probably start crafting, why not? There we are. And also research is is complete as well. So we'll cycle the airlock once again. We'll come out and round. And I think we're going to pick up maybe... We'll make some food for a start. We've got... Oh, there we go. There's that artifact, which is like a plant pot. So we'll continue on that one. Nothing else to research. We will make some plant slop. Lovely. And we've got an improved shovel. But we do want a jackhammer. That is the one I'm wanting to get. So, well, let's... Huh. Oh, I can't pick this up because the inventory is full. So I'm going to dump that there. I'm going to also make sure that this is turned back on. There we go. That's fine. So they can get crafting. I'm going to pick up this and then craft our jackhammer. So the jackhammer we can use to, yeah, start mining away <laughs> and uh, getting rid of these rocks. So there we go. That's pretty good, and and oh, we are we are very low on ox wygen. We'll go inside and pick that up as well. I think with our research points, we're going to go with construction. So we'll pick that up now, which allows us to build some more parts. And the reason why that is important, not just for it's really cool to have a bigger base. The main reason I want to do that is hang on, what do we need? We need that, we need circ boards which requires wire, so one wire one electronics and then we need hang on a second ah, we'll be, the inventory is full again wouldn't it? Yeah, inventory is full so that can go there, that can go there I'll pick this up and what do we need now? Just two metal beams so we should be alright with that, you get two of them, no, two metal plates for one beam, so I'll craft two of those and see how we get on with that that is now done so we've picked up the beams and then make the construction yard i think we'll we won't power this up yet actually we don't need to power that up i think we'll wait for that to be made we'll pick that up put it in here like so and then we'll power this up any second now oh hang on food there we go. Sorted. Um, for this thing, then, we really want some habitat modules, which requires metal plates. Oh, look at this. We've also got gates as well now. Excellent. Well, habitat modules is certainly desirable, which also requires gaskets, which now we know what that's for. So gaskets, we'll say, craft and get on with that. And back inside, because oxygen, is, again, is a bit of a problem. Power doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. We do have logs available, which is good. Let me just cycle this airlock. And, well, let's see if we can dig through this. I'm guessing this is going to award us some uranium. And, yes, we do indeed have some glowing crystal. That's fine. And, oh, it is now raining. I hope this is not going to be accompanied by lightning strikes because... Yep, yes it is. Uh, there we go, <laughs> there's, there's lightning strikes there. Um, okay, so let's just dump this on the ground. We'll f pick up them gaskets. But we need, well, we need more metal plates. So I guess I'm going to uh, avoid that. Um, I was going to go down. Aha, that's what I was looking for. I was going to go down to get some more, some more of this ore. 
And there we go. I think I think we've picked all that up. But again, oxygen is a bit of an issue. At least we can get around the base much, much better now, which I'm happy with. So we'll craft all of that. We'll get inside. Turn the light off as well. We can get a, a lightning rod as well, which is useful to generate power. But that should now allow us to... Yes, we can craft a habitat module. So this is going to expand the base. What that also is good for is because the base is physically larger well, let me just put some power in that because it is physically larger that means we can store more oxygen in it so instead of me having to come back <laughs> endlessly it feels like um yeah it's gonna for, for oxygen we should be able to come back just now and again so oh my mistake that i used scroll wheel to select a different thing so we'll get that mind Loads of rock, lots of rock, but we want, ideally, we're wanting, well, there's some scrap, we'll pick that up. There's some ore there as well. Yeah, here's some ore. Ah, but I can't pick any of it up, but I can eat the remainder of that. So that's good. Problem we'll probably have is, after the next hit or so, nope, wasn't even the next hit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> we broke the, we broke our, our shovel, so we'll cycle in here, oxygen's going right up, base oxygen's going down, so it's just transferring over, then we'll open that, might as well light the torch, and, um, I'll probably want, oh, an improved shovel would be much better, but we don't have the scrap, although, I don't think you need a shovel to pick up scrap. I think you can just pick it up with your bare hands. So maybe it's worth me going here to, yeah, to do that and then getting an improved shovel. And, oh, that's also given us an electronics there. One unit of. So this is all powered down. That's fine. We don't need that powered up. There we go. Improved shovels for, for better shoveling, I'm going to guess. Um, can we make some... No, we can't make any of that slot. So we'll put that down. I'll put that down. I'll put the ore in here. We'll get that crafting. That's fine. Cycle. And, oh, that's powered. That's, sorry, that's that's not powered. So, <laughs> it, uh, it really can't power all of that. Interesting. Have a quick look at the map here. And it's sort of the northeast where we haven't explored a lot of it. So, let's just pick some of this stuff up there's the shovel for improved shoveling there's some wood as well basically i'm going to look for wood plant fiber ores oh there we go there's another artifact we'll grab that while we're on and oh two planks there as well don't know why that's like exciting that there's two planks there oh we can't pick up any of this scrap why Mm, because we're completely full. I could just dump the rocks. Do we really need them? Yes, I don't think we need them, but I mean, ideally we'd come back for them. We'll see. Let's just gather these planks and some of this ore. If we get a full 10 stack of ore, that would be nice. There's some greenery over there as well. And I often ask this question when we play this, but... Oh, hang on, an enemy! Ow! Okay. Ow! Oh, okay. So, it exploded <laughs> when we hit it. Ah, good to know. So, first enemy of the series. Let's go this scrap. There's... Oh, it, it, um, it goes more. You get more than I expected. In the stack, got 15 in that stack there, which is good. So we'll put that wood in. We will uh, craft all of that. We're going to put wood in here. Hang on, no, that one. So we can then start to research and craft some maybe, maybe some more modules for the base. I think so. Just increasing the size of that is desirable. In terms of research, next probably going to go with storage. I would like a. I would like to not just dump everything <laughs> on the ground. I don't think that's uh, that's great. So there is our our base being expanded. Food, yeah, it's not ideal. 
Let me just go off and create more of those. So this is not powered up, but it doesn't matter. It's mainly the oxygen which I'm uh, concerned with. We've got an axe, which is chop down trees. We've got our jackhammer. Yeah, that's all f sort of fine, really. It's just... What do we really, really need at this stage? An axe would be good, but... Not a huge amount of trees. We're going to make another module. We'll craft another module. It's just using a lot of resources, which is not too much of a problem. And there's the other module. And I'm just going to put that on the side there. Actually, I think I'm going to remove the airlock. Put that in here. Then the airlock will be put there. There we go. And once again, it's raining. Because <laughs> of course it is. Practically, it uh, seems like it's always raining in here. Okay. Let's have a quick look down the bottom. Avoiding all of that. Actually, we'll have a look at our map here. And yes, down the bottom is something we haven't really explored too far. Um, oh, I need a different tool to pick that up. Interesting. Okay, so I, yeah, diff I need a different tool for for that rock there. Oh, there's another artifact. So we'll grab that. And we'll grab... I think we're going to do a food run, essentially. And also we need resin for connectors. So there's that. There's some more scrap, which I don't know if we necessarily need, but we'll, we'll grab it there. Um, oh, it's actually oxygen is running quite low. Let's uh, let's not let's not. Ow! I think I got hit with the lightning there. Yeah. Wow. Health of 24 out of 100. Let me just double check the map. Yeah, it's up north here. I think we are going to start to take some damage. Um, we'll have to get back quickly. And we're back. Okay, <laughs> just got back in time, but we did get back. That's fine. All right. Okay, well, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of moon base, and I think we will carry on in the same spirit in some upcoming videos. It's an artifact 10 plus 5 research bonus, uh, and let's get some food into ourselves. Oh, there we have food into ours ourselves there. Brilliant. Alright, so we have got a base up and running, day five, and we've got some some building. We also gonna unlock Oh, solar panels. That would be, yeah, power would be good. I think however storage is at this stage the most desirable simply because, well, we maybe we can actually have a box somewhere to store some of this, which is um oh Something we can craft right now. Alright, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Moonbase. Hope you have enjoyed this look at the game. And we're going to follow on and see again what this is like uh, in an upcoming video. So, yeah. Hope you will enjoy that. And as always, hope you have enjoyed this episode. And I guess what it is, this sort of mini-series thus far. You can change the colour of the box now. Very nice. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.